Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kevin and this is Mochi. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install or replace your 20 amp GFCI outlet. All right, here we go. There are many common problems with a 20 amp GFCI plug. If you have tried resetting it many times and it still does not work, if you have another one inside your house, you can try swapping it out. Continue watching this video, I'll show you how to remove and install. First thing we need to do is locate the breaker and turn it off. On my panel, it's saying the kitchen plugs are on breaker number 12 and 14. I'm not too sure which one it'll be, so I am going to turn it both off. If this is labeled correctly, I should find 20 amp breakers since the GFCI outlet is 20 amps. So let's go over to 12 and 14. 12 and 14 is 20 amps. So let's turn them off. Now we can start taking off the cover. Now we can loosen the screws. After you have loosened the screws, we will carefully pull this straight out from the wall. We are going to assume that this is still live. The next thing I'm going to do is to double check that this circuit is dead and that the wires are not energized. Right here I have is a volt tester. When I put this right against the black wires, if it flashes red, that means the wires are still energized and that it's not safe to work on. So this indicates that it is safe to work on. Using the leads, I'm going to touch the top set of screws. You can interchange either black or red. On either side, you will still get the same results. So the readings are close to zero. So far so good. Now let's try the bottom set of screws. Also close to zero. That means this circuit is safe to work on. Now another way to do this, you can touch the lead with, on the brass side of the screw, top side with the ground wire. Reading is also close to zero. Now let's do with the bottom wire, also close to zero. That means this circuit is safe to work on. Now we are ready to remove the wires from the outlet. Very important to keep your wires separated from the top set with the bottom set. You cannot mix and match. One of these set of wires is coming straight from the panel, the power source powering this plug. And the other set will be going to your another countertop plug or to your island plug. Not all 20 amp GFCI plugs are the same, but they are very similar. On the back side, here we have is a load sign. That is where power is transferred to another countertop plug or to an island plug. And on the other side is the line side. That is where the power source come in from your electrical panel. Before we begin inserting the wires into the new outlet, you want to make sure your wires are stripped no more than one centimeters a bare copper showing. It should look something like this. Little to no copper showing once inserted into the back of the plug. I'm going to start off with the line side. Make sure do not mix and match your set of wires. Make sure it's nice and tight, screw down, brass with black wire. Nice and tight, silver with white. As you can see, there is little to no copper showing behind the plug. Now everyone is safe. 
Now we can carefully insert the plug back into the wall and screw it down in place. If you want, you can choose to install the plate cover after you tested the plug. Now let's turn the breaker back on. Now we can test the plug. For this particular model, if I press the reset button, the red light should pop up. And it does. Now if I press the test button, it will trip out this outlet and would cause the reset button to pop out. So let's see if it does that. And it does. So I'm going to press the reset button again. And now I will plug in my plug tester. Now this is indicating that this outlet works. Now I will press the test button just to see if it trips and it should shut this off. And it does. So now we can confirm that this outlet works 100%. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Peace out until next time. Let's go Moshi.